The following review is going to be on Studio Series 86 RC. Stay tuned. Adam Spiel here, and today we're going to do another Studio Series 86 Deluxe Review. This time it's RC from Transformers the Movie. First we'll take a look at the package. There's RC in robot mode. Studio Series RC number 86-16. We have the Transformers logo, Transformers the Movie logo. Now, make sure it has an open window. So you look down here on this side, make sure that the gun is there. You should see it down here. There is a robot mode, deluxe class. <clears throat> There's another robot mode. Transforms the movie logo. Nothing. And on the back, it says big screen inspired. Uh, let's see. When the Decepticons launch their attack, RC converts Autobot City. Um, let's see. Robot to car mode in 18 steps with the Battle of Autobot City background. All right, that's it. Let's let this gal open and see how cool she is. Yeah, now that we got RC out of the package, first we'll take a look at her weapon. It is a gun. It's like a gunmetal gray. It's uh, It's got two little notches on the side, two little tabs on the side where you could put her in uh, vehicle mode. And it's basically just a simple gun. No big deal. Now I'll look at the directions. <clears throat> and you've got Transformers the Movie RC 86-16. Right out of the box, it tells you to put the gun in her hand, or you can put the gun on her leg. And there she is with the gun. And then you flip it over, and the gun stores on the bottom of the car, so you can't really use it in car mode. And it really does, yeah, it's got her gun to a hatch. And let's just, uh, let's see... And uh, you can really put the gun. Yep, you can put the gun in the peg hole <clears throat> on the side of her leg. So that's pretty cool. And you can also put the gun in either hand. Just like that. And one of the few figures that doesn't have a closed fist. And let's see, I got a little blue shear from Omega Supreme. And... It is not bluish, as Emgo would say. It is not circular. It is up and down. So, oh, Hasbro missed a point there. But is this 5mm? Yeah, it's a 5mm port. So, Hasbro screwed up there. And, uh, let's see. Next, we'll take a look at the uh, case. Now, as what Hasbro's been doing lately is they've been packing the the inner package where the figure is attached to it actually mirrors the background that's pretty cool they've been spending all that extra money on ink so <clears throat> she gets packaged like this and it is the same as the background here's the studio series background it is the battle of autobot city got some explosions in the back <clears throat> transformers says generations there 8616 Transformers the movie and you can just stick her there and there is our seat with our studio backdrop no big deal <clears throat> now let's get to our seat first we'll take some good looks at her and in a way I, I don't like the head if you look at the head it looks like she's sticking her neck out too far it just doesn't sit right on her not like the earth rise does <clears throat> but anyway let's look at that face she's got blue eyes she's got the red lipstick kind of even her face is shaded a little pink uh, she's got the white head she's got the Autobot symbol here and you can see I already got a stress mark right there because when I transformed it uh, this little piece right here fell below this popped out well, I'll show you later but you just gotta be careful uh, let's see <clears throat> She's got her feminine chest, as always, all the fembots do. A little Autobot symbol, and you get the white stomach, you got more of that gray, you got the pink crotch piece. Legs are white, she got the pink uh, pink knees. She's got a little gray on, the, on her feet, which ain't bad. Uh, her arms are two different shades of pink. You got a lighter pink and a darker pink. <clears throat> and it looks like even a third shade right there. So you got one, two, and three. 
it could be just glossy. There is a big backpack, as always, with RC. Um, and this tail fin pops off too, so you got to be careful about that. Uh, big backpack, but not much else you can do. Now, <clears throat> articulation with the backpack, it interferes with it. So first we'll do the head. You've got good 360 degrees. You got, look at that, up. You got good up and good down. <clears throat> the arms will do a 360 degrees. They go out only that far. You've got upper bicep rotation, <clears throat> more than 90 degrees on the elbow, nothing at the wrist. You got 360 waist. The other arm's the same way. <clears throat> you got 360 degrees. You got upper. Sometimes they they twist at the elbow and sometimes at the bicep. Let's see her feet. <clears throat> she can only kick that far forward, that far back. She likes to come undone. Uh, she can't do the split. Uh, a female bot that can't do the split. Figure that out. Uh, the knee is more than 90 degrees, and the foot goes up, down, and it goes out for those static poses like that. And she doesn't come together pretty soon. All right. And that is RC. Um, big improvement over Earthrise, definitely. Um, <clears throat> you know what? Right now, we're just going to bring in that Earthrise version. So we can do a side-to-side -side comparison before we do all the other comparisons. Now, <clears throat> let's see. Everything's different. The Start from the feet up. Uh, the feet are different because now you have this extra tab. You go up the legs. Her knees here are purple here. They're just uh, on top of it. Different waist. She's got the Autobot symbol. Oh, she's got this pink right here on her waist. And she doesn't. Uh, Autobot symbol. I do like this pink better, I think. Um, she's got the lighter pink on. She's got the arms. I do like the Earthrise head, though. It looks a lot better than the Studio Series. Uh, and the back is where the big difference is. I think the Earthrise is a lot thicker. But you could take the Earthrise one off. And... You can actually take this one off too. It, it pops out very easy on a friction hinge. I'll show you later. But, you know, on this one you could actually form the shell of the car without her. This one I don't think you can. And so that is the 2RC. So, in a way I was like, why even bother coming out with an Earthrise RC if you're going to come out with the Studio Series? But they probably didn't know the reaction they would have gotten from this one. So they had to go back and redo it. All right. Now let's stop here and let's compare her to other Autobots. Our first robot to robot comparisons. We're going to bring in Earthrise RC again. And then we're going to bring in Bumblebee Movie Studio Series RC. And then we're going to bring in Legacy RC from Transformers uh, Prime. So those are all the RCs we have. I don't have a Cyberverse. But I, I like I said, this this face I like the, the, the least. But you could see how they kept the original design. This is what a real life RC would look like compared to her cartoon versions. <clears throat> and now we're going to, of course, you can do RC without hot rod, cup, and blur. Those are our new 86 movie figures, hot rod, cup, and blur. And I think they size pretty good. I think they really do. <clears throat> now we're gonna, saw, actually those are actually all my Voyager, or Deluxes. We're gonna bring in Rekgar and Springer. These are the Voyagers. So you get a sense of how she, these, eh, I don't know if they're going to do a Springer Studio Series. I mean, this guy is about as good as you're going to get. I don't think you're going to improve on this mold as a Studio Series, but they may in the future. So that's Rekgar. And then here is Blaster and Perceptor. Uh, Perceptor's a Deluxe and Blaster's a Voyager. So now we're keeping with the Autobot battle on Earth. 
<clears throat> and then here is Rodimus Prime. Now, this is where the scale is a little off. I don't think Rodimus Prime is that much bigger than RC. And I use my Ultra Magnus. I use the Combiner Wars Magnus because I don't like the Siege or Earthrise. And if Hasbro can come up with the Studio Series Ultra Magnus that could rival this guy, I'm all for it. Just take my money. Just take it, Hasbro. I don't care. I'd buy a couple of them. And that is it for our robot to robot comparisons. Now, to Transformer, first, obviously, we're going to take our gun out. And then what you want to do is grab her head, and this little piece folds up, and just extend all of this. See, now, this, when I was transforming it, somehow, this white piece, or this chest piece right here, somehow got on top of the white one, and I had to stress it to, to fix it. So now it's in the proper position. All right, so now that we extended her face, we're going to flip the head around, and this is going to snap into here. And there's the front of the car. And then what you're going to do is extend the legs. See how this whole thing compacts in. And we're going to take the hands, and we're going to tuck them underneath right here. Now, don't get the thumb stuck. Just take her hands, and you just want to tuck them underneath <clears throat> the fender. All right, so that's what we got so far. Now for the fun part. <clears throat> this back here rotates. So if you don't do it right, you're not going to have clearance. So what you got to do is <clears throat> fold these out. Fold them out like that. You got to fold all these out. Then you got to flip this around. And what you're going to do is these tabs are going to go into her arms. So, is she all straightened out? And what did I do wrong? Oh, I always forget this piece back here. Got a little fender back here. So once you do that, you can plug this arm into here. There, and this little tab just stays like that and then plug this one in so that arms in and that arms plugged in <clears throat> now this is where the big improvement is on the waist so you rotate the waist and what you're gonna do is the whole idea is to get these two tabs right in here so you're gonna bend the legs a little you want to get this so it's about right, like that. And then you're just going to fold these up. And you're just going to get them in that little slot. It might take you a couple tries. Let's see, there's one. And there's two. And flatten her out. And it's a lot easier than the Earthrise RC. Because I can never do those stupid legs. And, and there's the car. Now be careful because this does pop out a lot. But it just pops right in there. And that is RC. And I think they've nailed it. I mean, there it's it's RC. You got the Autobot symbol there. You've got the pink and the white. You got the pink and the white there. You can see a little uh, little steering wheel, the little padded seats. You got a little instrument panel there, which is pretty cool. You got the white and the pink. <clears throat> now, when they came out with the Titans Return and they did recolored Blur, I was like, why recolor Blur? But you know what? She does look like Blur. A lot of her her um, aesthetics mirror Blurs, which we'll see in a minute. So there's from the bottom, and uh, she compacts pretty good. Let's just lower the camera. She does compact pretty good. And uh, the gun, you got a little tab back here. So you just stick the tab in here. And there's her gun. Now she doesn't have any gun placement in vehicle mode. I don't know why they didn't do that. It's just storage. Let's see. Can you? Let's see. Where else can you put it? No, I guess that's it. 
And there she is. So she's a nice, I mean, they. I think they nailed it in this mode. Uh, I, it's very good. I like the little plastic. She's very good robot mode, minus the kibble in the back, and her earth mode. But let's do some vehicle comparisons now to show you what we mean. Our first robot to robot comparison, we're going to bring in Earthrise RC. Now, big difference. When you look at the two, this one is more streamlined. This is more better representation of what she looked like. This is more blocky. You look at the side. I mean, the back, they could have put this extra piece in. I know I got this the, the wrong, and the bottom. I mean, she's basically spread out, and her, she's actually transformed. There's a lot more of the head and the chest and the waist. This thing, you just fold the arms up, you fold the legs up, and that's it. But, and then we're going to bring in the RC from the movies, which made her a motorcycle, which I thought was pretty cool. Harkens back to <clears throat> her Transformers Prime days. This is the new Legacy one. So, here's all our RCs. Let's get one big group shot. We got the Legacy. We got the Earthrise, the Studio Series. Oops, and the Bumblebee Movie RC. So, there's all RCs. So, what do you like her better at? You like her as a motorcycle, or do you like her as a car? Leave some comments below. And then we're going to have, we can't have RC without Hot Rod. So there's these two guys, both Studio Series 86. And they nailed it out of the park, I think, with the Hot Rod figure. And uh, next, we've got Cup. And they look pretty good together. And then we'll bring in Blur. Blur is a lot longer, but he's more streamlined. So this is all our movie people now. This is all our main cast of the movie, minus Ultra Magnus. We've got Hot Rod, Cup, and Blur with RC. And then I'm just going to compare her with a Voyager Rekgar. I just wanted to see how she compares to Rekgar. Obviously, there's no scale because he's not really a... A, he's a transformer size motorcycle and she's a deluxe but I mean obviously these don't scale together at all but they are all Studio Series 86 and that is it so major improvement over the Earthrise version major improvement I'm glad they I wonder if that was the original plan was to redo RC or if they got so much backlash from this mold and I can't believe they even did all the other um, recolors in this mold. But we finally got a good Studio Series RC86. And I'm happy. Now, we're going to do something that most reviewers don't do. Most reviewers do not transform them back. Most reviewers start with vehicle mode and end in robot mode. I always like to do as they are packaged. She's packaged in robot mode, so we start in robot mode, and now we're going to do it in reverse. Because sometimes there is a big difference in transforming it from one way to the other, and it's trickier one way. And reviewers that only show you one way, I think, do you a disservice. So over here on my channel, I like to do them both ways. That way, you know, uh, you have no problems if you, have, you get stuck one way or another. Okay, so first thing we're going to do here is swing out the legs. And we'll just straighten these up. Rotate them around. And now we're done with that. And then we'll bring the arms down. Alright, now we've got to get this section. So, what you want to do is we got to fold... We got to fold. See, this is how it's so easy to pop out. Before I was going to show you, friction hinge. So if you want to keep the RC in robot mode, you just pop this off. But now, see, mine's a little hard right back here to pop it out to make it rotate. I don't know why mine sticks. There it goes. It's supposed to rotate like that. And then what you do is 
you got to get to a point where you can fold this in, you can fold this in, and then you fold that in. So everything gets folded in. So bring the legs down. Straighten the feet out. Straighten the feet out. We're going to bring the hands down. Now we're just going to undo the head. It's a little snap like that. So, whoops. Like I said, this fin always pops out. Not a big deal. Just stick it back in. And now here's where you got to compact her. You compact her waist like that. And then what you got to do, oh, and uh, fold these in. That way you can fold this down. And now you just got to get these shoulders right here to clear. Uh, let's see. And once you get these down, her head locks it in. And let's see. Is she done? Whoops. Is she done? Is she done? And, yep, she's done. There you go. And so, they kept the same, these fold up. And so, if you don't want this piece back here, what you do, you can just pull it off right there. It sits in there. So, there is a way. I haven't seen this on any other reviewers. So, if you don't want her with a big backpack. Uh, let's see. That's about as best you're going to get right there. RC without a backpack. And to pop it on, you just, it's a little friction hinge. You just stick it in there. And now, see the old one didn't have any of the waist that extends, the chest that extended. It didn't have any of that. So, I mean, it's almost a complete remold. I see where people say it's a, re, it's a more of a remold of the Generations 30, but I don't have that. And now she's back to RC again with a backpack. So, not too bad. I am so glad they decided to redo RC. I wonder if this was the original, <clears throat> if this was the original plan or not. But I'm glad they do because that Earthrise one is just atrocious. So now I want to do is bring back the Earthrise RC again. And I wonder if. Her head should be on a ball joint. And I'm not going to pull this head. All right, I was going to try to switch heads on camera, but I'm not. So, just to recap the differences again. Um, whoops, this folds in. You notice how, you know, on this one, the front wheel folds in. It doesn't fold in here. The bottom, this all folds in just like this but it's a little different um that's about it it's just the legs are all different i mean it's the i think the new studio series is way better than the uh earthrise rc and i was actually glad when this came out because this looked like a real rc which i haven't seen in a long time but there is our two rc so i hope you enjoyed this video if you thought this was just a repaint I hope now that you, th you see it's different and do go out and buy a Studio Series 86 RC. If you want one for your collection, definitely get this one. If you haven't gotten this one, don't bother. There's so many different molds out there anyway. All right, that's it. So uh, if there's a link below to like buy this figure on Amazon or Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toy Store or something like that, link below. Feel free to click on that. It helps me a lot. This is not my normal job. I have a day job. I just do this on the fun of it. Uh, check out the channel. I got over 1,000 videos. That's right, 1,000 videos. Mostly we do Transformers, but I do uh, DC, Marvel, new toy sightings, DVD unboxings, movie reviews. Just turn on notifications, like, subscribe. And that's about it. So, uh, I guess this is Rodimus Bill saying, uh, hey, if you're going to have a Fembot, get the one that started it all. Studio Series 86 RC. See you next time.